Okay guys, so I've been struggling. I've been freelancing for I think just over two months now and I've been dealing with some issues that I didn't think I would have to be dealing with. So I'm here to give you the lowdown. I know there's tons of you thinking about when and how to start freelancing. So here is my experience and my thoughts on the whole situation. First thing, I got comfortable way too quick. When I launched my freelance business two months ago now, I put together my branding and my design and my business profile very quickly. I'm gonna say within like a week and a bit. It was very quick and very casual. But the influx of work and clients that I got when I did launch was so incredible. I was so stoked. I think I had 10 clients in my first two weeks and I was all go. I was like, how am I gonna coordinate all this work and get this work done for everyone in time? But at the same time, I was like, Pfft, this freelance gig, it's easy. If this is how it's gonna be, I'm sorted. I have so much work already, it's just coming to me and I don't have to do anything. That was not the case. I spent that first month just smashing out all that work for those clients that I actually didn't then put aside time to actively go and source new work and reach new clients. This then hit me at the end of the month when I was kind of forecasting my next few billable hours and I had significantly less than when I started. So that is one thing, don't get too comfortable too quick. I know this isn't gonna be a scenario for everyone, work has ups and downs, but it's something that you need to think about. Coming from a nine to five where you're working for someone else and you don't have to do that, it's a whole new experience. You've gotta keep in mind that you're the whole package here. Not only are you producing work, for whether it's a product or a service that you're providing, you're also the marketer, you're the comms, you're the accountant, you're the management. There's a whole lot of other admin that comes into this and figuring out how to balance it. Putting aside time, you've got to think about your billable hours, but also the non-billable hours, which actually still keep your business operating. It's a lot to think about and I'm struggling with it. Honestly, being able to live a freelance work lifestyle is the best thing ever. And what comes with that is freedom and flexibility. And that means that you can do whatever you want, when you want, and work by your own rules. And that is so insanely cool. But it does come with a but. My routine is out the gate. Like it is out the gate. Like I don't know where it's gone. I find myself now working in my bedroom, lying on my bed, and I catch myself scrolling through Instagram Spending hours on YouTube, hours. Updating anything and everything that is absolutely not my work. And it actually shocks me at how little self-control I have and where my routine has gone. Where has it gone? You are so flexible in what you can do. And it's what I've always freaking wanted. And here I am with Absolutely no routine. Bearing in mind we came out of lockdown in New Zealand, so maybe my habits have been formed from there. But it's just not changing and I need to fix it. I just, I think I'm too flexible that I'm not being efficient enough. And I honestly am leaving stuff way too late. In terms of getting work done and doing things and being the person that you are, people fall into two different categories. You are either a perfectionist or you procrastinate. And I honestly used to think I was a perfectionist. I really did. But procrastination, mate, I can procrastinate for days. It's honestly so fascinating. Just being wary of how you work and what's the most efficient. I know for me that having to go to an office, be in a different location each day, having to be there for certain hours, having to have a lunch break at a certain time, knowing when you can and can't socialize, not being on your phone so much because you're working for someone else and you're being paid to be there and do work for them. Such simple little things that I think affected me a lot more than I thought they did and now being at home where I have my own rules and I can do anything, I need to work on it. If you do struggle with a bit of motivation or self-control in some aspects, be prepared because it's a whole new level. I have always wanted to work for myself, make my own business and just be the boss, create my own freaking rules. And here I am doing that and I 
am surprised at the lack of my motivation. You think I would be bouncing off the walls, just going for it all the time. And I have been struggling with this and I don't exactly know why. I guess it's following on from routine something that I've been struggling with but motivation is coming with that and it is very very confusing maybe it's because I don't have others with colleagues around me all trying to work for the same thing you know we're all aligned with what we were doing it's very different I think a lot of it comes from we're not necessarily experienced enough or good enough at something there's all these things in our mind that kind of stop us from doing things and I think this comes into my work sometimes and it may affect my motivation. Sometimes I just feel like all of this is so over the top of my head and I'm just not quite ready to do it. Motivation, goal setting, understanding why I'm doing this and my purpose for this is super important. It's something I've been refining for myself very recently because as long as I know why I'm doing something and I can have and I can see my goals that I'm trying to achieve every day going about my day is so much easier so that is definitely something that I've struggled with and something I have found a solution for finding your why why do you want to do this what to do and you know how to do it but why are you doing it figuring out why you want to do it and your purpose for all of this is super important and something I would actually recommend figuring out before you just jump right in like I have. Obviously I'm here to help you guys out because I just jumped right in and I am making mistakes and I'm learning from them but you know it happens to everyone. Take it back to basics. Make daily goals, weekly goals and a monthly calendar. Like figure out step by step how you're going to achieve everything and I think that really really helps your motivation. But on top of that, what really, really solidifies it is knowing your why. Why you want to do it. What's your purpose? Figure that out first before you start anything. And lastly, one of the things that I didn't even think about, but switching between clients during the day is the strangest and hardest concept for me to grasp. You're working a couple of hours on one brand and putting all your creativity into that and once you just get settled into that you then move on to your work with another brand and i just don't know how i'm processing everything maybe that's something that i need to think about do i do batch work for people spend one day on one client one day on the next create some kind of work productivity content calendar that makes it easier for me to work efficiently and work effectively. It does all make sense though because for nearly four years I was working in-house for one brand, one company. I had it ingrained in my brain how they wanted their brand to be portrayed online, how they wanted to be seen, heard, what they wanted to be affiliated with. Putting all your creativity into one brand and one client and getting your head around what they wanted, to, how they wanted to express themselves and just as you're getting into it, then switch to another client and then just be like, whoa, reset. Let's go into a completely different avenue. Obviously for a lot of creatives, this isn't necessarily something that you'll have to deal with. I know obviously if you work for an agency, you're working with different clients, moving into freelance on your own might be a very, very similar situation. For me, for the people working out there who are already just working for the one company in-house, it's a bit of a change. I know I can figure it out. I'm figuring out how I can flow better. It's all about the flow, you know? We need to have good flow. So guys, that is my two month update. I hope this didn't come across negatively. I just wanted it to be insightful. For any of you who are thinking about how to get into freelance, when to do it, what to do, these thoughts and my experiences, I hope help you in some way. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really, really supports my channel. If there's anything else you guys are unsure about, please put it down in the comments so we can start a conversation about it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.